We are getting ready to tour the Holly Hart Children's Museum, which was newly relaunched in 2010 with the generous donations of many Phoenix area donors and corporations. And it is absolutely beautiful and completely technologically updated. It's named after the Hollies, Bruce and Diane Holly, who put up a lot of the original money and then also gave a huge donation a couple of years ago to see the technology upgrades done. So that's why it's the Holly Park Children's Museum, Holly, H-A-L-L-E. This is the Hartball Publicity Committee and they're going on a tour led by Dana Jerush, who's heading up the museum. through the museum and you'll see in every exhibit Love Dub has a different costume on to go with the exhibit so we've really had a lot of fun. The other thing that you'll see is all of the wonderful rap and poem and, and just fun language that we worked with teachers at these kids, these kids grade level and with our incredible design team to really speak to kids but that adults would come in and also have a lot of fun with it. And then our donor digital wall, if you guys ever have a chance, and I know some of you have already seen it, it's fabulous. It's, um, it's lengthy, but um, the visuals on it are just um, tremendous. We worked with a, a guy who can go in. We're actually doing a couple of updates this week, so something we can really go in and make changes to and um, up with, so. It's frozen right now. Is it not there? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's just no. slow to move. It, we, we really tried to time it so that you could read okay. everything if you wanted to, sure. but but not too slow. In the beginning, it was a little slow. It a little bit, a little bit of time. And then, of course, we have the founding story. So the original Holly Hart Center, um, when Bruce Holly first got involved in the story. So, but you you can see the visuals are just beautiful. It's pretty darn clear. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Very yeah, nice. I know. HD. Yeah. Okay, we're going to keep going so we can get through it. And you guys are so welcome to come back in. So, um, so again, I was telling Robin, the museum meets 18 different curriculum standards right now for 7th and 5th grade. And so our um, tour guides, we call them heart guides, really have to make sure that they are educating the kids with every standard um, that they need to meet for both of those grade levels. So when they have second grade, they know what they need to yeah. get in class and all the good things. So we find it. <laughs> and here we are right here. Some of our wonderful heart guys. You guys, this is the heart ball Hi. committee, the PR committee. <laughs> yeah. And um, so I like, hope creatures are going small. We really have a lot of fun with this exhibit. This is to really help the kids to understand that their heart is a mop, a muscle, organ, and pump. And what we love to do in this exhibit is show them, we want to compare the size of animal hearts to their heart. We talk about resting heartbeat and, and what happens when your heartbeat is elevated. We talk about the fact that the bigger the heart, the slower the heart rate. So um, we talked to them about their own heart rate is anywhere from 60 to about 120, although optimum, if they can get their heart rate up with physical activity to about 156, that's great. Um, so it's, everything is very interactive in the museum. The kids team up and they can go up to um, the various, like they can open, um, so here would be my heart is smaller than the size of a pea and weighs less than half a gram and kind of goes on with a little clue. And so they open it and um, the hummingbird, so what it'll do is it, it will show how fast the heartbeat of a hummingbird is. Versus, I'm trying to remember where, okay, so so like right here, let's see, let me go to the, I'm looking for, maybe you're cheating. No, you know what? Well, we don't have time, okay? Whoa. So this would be the human heart, okay? So this would be the human, which beats from about 70 to 100 um, beats per minute. So then, um, let me look for the, okay, so the elephant. So what will happen is the actual beat will come from the elephant. So the kids can, can see the elephant. The zebra does the same thing. <laughs> I'm going to take one more just in case. Okay. Yeah. 
And again, we are really spending very quick time in each one of these. Um, as for donors in this exhibit, we have donors that were able to um, sponsor a particular animal. So we've got the Josephs who did the giraffe. We've got um, the, the um, Jost did the giraffe. The Jost did the giraffe. We've got, um, oh, Jackson the Elephant was Gloria Jackson. So um, everybody, Millie, Millie the cat, the mattresses, um, Brenda Howard, Shamrock. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we really have a lot of fun with that. I know, I got it. Okay. And we still have a couple of things that need to be um, adopted. We still have our little um, frog, and so there still are some wonderful opportunities. <laughs> Keep in mind the heart guides are rotating, so they may not always go in the right order, but certainly if they were over there, they would talk about, okay, the muscle, the organ, and pump, but how do you keep it working? So, so that there's really that natural at all times. The kids will always get why it's important to keep their heart healthy. Um, this is a great exhibit because we really over here start talking about the arteries and pumping the blood through the body, and so we're able to, um, to demonstrate the arteries and the veins and how the oxygen flows through and how the blood gets back to the heart. Um, the other thing that we talk about here is um, to just start really giving them some ideas about weight and you know we talk about a gallon of milk so they can you know visualize a gallon of milk and we talk about this much blood is in your body about a gallon of blood so we really start relating to things that they can you know relate to um, in life and then interactive here we've got the games so that they have to put this puzzle together over here they learn about um, you know we talk about muscle that the heart is a muscle we also talk about the muscle is so strong, the heart muscle, that it could lift a 3,000 pound car. And so those are those are all the clues and you know, the games over here. The interactive computers, the kids are really learning how all the systems work together. So we have a heart, but you can't live with just a heart. You can live with your digestive system, your nervous system. And so the kids will go into teams and they, and they have Arnold, it's Arnold software in the background and Arnold takes them through the interactive. So they have to put, digestive um, system, the organs in place, and where the work fits in, and so they have to put their human together where all of those different organs would actually be in their body. To get them to understand, they all work together. Fun things to notice in the exhibits are all the backgrounds so that the walls in here look like arteries and veins, and, and so really fun. Clues behind each of the kids so they can... Um, and we have actual live graphics of the beating heart um, with the information. So a lot of visual, um, there's a lot of auditory, so there's really something for every learning style. Um, and I keep saying kids, but we really want to get adults in here as much as kids at some point. So we love this exhibit, and so of course because Julie's here, this is Julie's sweet little daughter here. So yeah, so yeah, yeah. And Susan's sweet little daughter, Triana, um, with her soccer ball over there. So anyway, we've had really quite a lot of fun with kids, and this whole um, exhibit is really about. Um, you can make the right choice. And no matter what your peers are doing, you don't have to do what they're doing if you know it's a bad choice. So in this exhibit, you know, we've already talked to them about the muscle, the organ, the pump. We've demonstrated arteries. We've really talked to them about how all those things need to be working right for them to be healthy. And so when they get over here, we start talking to them about smoking and what that does to your flowing wonderful artery over there and that it will build plaque and it will make your lungs so that they can't pump the blood through so you don't have the oxygen and the blood pumping to your heart like you should and pumping through your arteries and that oxygen to keep your arteries healthy and so your arteries are going to start closing up and so the activity here is that the kids try to get a golf ball through the restricted artery they can look in the window and see
walking, you know, how much does your, you know, iPad cost? And yet, you know, it very quickly it will add up to the cost of an iPad if you're buying packages yeah, and the rest. Yeah, so and we also talk about how one bad I'm choice can be an addiction the rest of your life. So for some people, you smoke one time and you you could be addicted the rest of your life. We don't want to scare the kids if their parents are already smoking. The last thing we want to do is we, we don't want to scare them. We want them to know that you know, it's an addiction, um, to be very understanding, that it's very difficult to stop once you start. But certainly we know these kids are going home and going, you shouldn't be smoking, Mom. Yeah, you know, so we know that's happening. Um, we also which have, good. It, which, is, which is good. Um, we also have um, some really fun stories. One of the guys that was working on this exhibit, fabricating it, had been smoking a pack a day wow. since he was about 16 years old, very overweight. This exhibit impacted him so much that in August wow. he stopped smoking oh, dead cold wow. turkey. He stopped smoking and he has not picked up a pack of cigarettes since. He also now has lost. I don't even know how much weight um, just from working on the museum. So, really, some great stories. Yeah, it, there's really some, yeah, there's really some neat.